Aha. Okay. Good morning, Sheila. How are you doing this wonderful hot day? Oh, good morning, Wayne. I'm great because it is a hot day, but there's a little bit of a breeze, so that always helps. Uh, yes, it does. And welcome to everyone to 27 Minutes with Sheila and Wayne, where we talk about communication skills and verbs as we are attempting to change the world in a positive manner, right. one verb at a time. <laughs> yes. And Sheila, I'm going to start off with our, hey, this, first of all, this is our 75th episode. Yay, go Yay, us. Yay, A-A. But I would like to start with an apology. May I do that? Absolutely. All right, to our listening audience, we apologize. This is 27 minutes with Sheila and Wayne, not 29. I, no. <laughs> we, we have gone a couple over. Yes, we so have. We're, we're going to try to stick to the 27 minutes because that's what we promised you. Um, you know, and, 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 it's, and it's just because these words are just fun sometimes. Yes, they <laughs> are. Sometimes they are. Sometimes not so much. And we want to keep talking about them. And speaking of that, Sheila, what is our verb for today? Our verb for today is to form, and two meanings are to bring together parts or to combine something, to create something. Um, a second one is to make or fashion in a certain shape or form. And Ooh. I know that you have more definitions, but first, can I uh, ask a trivia question that we will answer at the end of the show? Absolutely. Okay. Let me find my trivia question. According to Professor John Hinshaw in uh, in England, about how many stars are in the Milky Way? So how we're going to ask that stars? at the end. About wow. how many? Because there's not a real definitive answer. So about how many? Okay. Are and, we talking? I'm are we saying. Talking, are we talking like Kevin Costner or Whoopi Goldberg? Well, good question. I mean, <laughs> planetary formations ah. <laughs> called stars <laughs> in the Milky Way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, but. Maybe the answer is about the same for both. Okay. <laughs> but I just want to say, think big numbers. All right. I will okay. think big numbers. Yes. Thank you. So, yes. So give me your definitions of to form. Okay. My definitions are, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Wow. Here we go. I'm going to start from the bottom up this time. I'm going to okay. do something different. Going wild. Going to be really crazy. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to develop a successful relationship with a person organization, or country, oh. especially for a particular purpose. Okay. Next one, to create a company or organization. Okay. Next, next one from the bottom up, to begin something, especially organizing people or things, to begin to have, hmm. to make or be something, mm -hmm. to make something into a particular shape, like you, like mm -hmm. you said. Yep, yep. And I think of Play-Doh. I I, oh yes, and my last one to begin in to begin to exist or to make something begin to exist. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Yes, I like that. And I did not have a trivia question this time, but okay. I did. I followed your lead. I do have a quote, but okay. I'm going to bring that quote nearing my end of the okay. of the segment today. So I'll wait okay. till then. Alrighty. No. I do have a few quotes here. All right. And we can start out with those. Well, let's uh, do that, please. So the best one I found is a little bit longer than usual, and it's Albert Einstein. Um, now, we've talked a little bit about artificial intelligence over time. So Albert's advice is this. Concern for man and his fate must always form the chief interest of all technical endeavors. Never forget this in the midst of your diagrams and equations. So Ooh, that's okay. a, good, a good warning for us. Yes, and then E.B. White said, prejudice is a great time saver. You can form opinions without having to get the facts. <laughs> so I like that one also. And then okay. um, I've got several, but I think my next favorite is Winston Churchill, who said, it has been said that democracy is the worst form of government, except all the others that have been tried. Yes, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> good. A good um, a uh, Fourth uh, of July type of message. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so there's and, some others that I might toss in as we go, but that's it for now. Okay. Please do. Please do. So what was your initial thoughts on this verb when we selected it last year, last week? 
I thought at first it was going to be a little difficult to form a podcast Ooh. around this verb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and by the way, puns there. are the lowest form of entertainment. Um, <laughs> so, uh, however, I stumbled upon something that I was fully aware of. You will recognize it. And it just kind of created a framework for the rest of my research. Hmm. And that is the Tuckman stages of group development. Ooh. You've heard of those, yes? I've heard of those. Oh, good. Okay. Well, um, there's five of them, right? There is there. Yes. Originally, when he posited or, or, or proposed this, uh, these stages in about 1965, he had four. Yes. But another one has been added. So you are on top of this. And those stages are forming, stage one, storming, norming, performing. And then adjourning is yes. the final one that they added. Yes. So, so you might, ha did you, did you research this one as well when we were, when you were looking at, up this verb? I did not, but remember okay. we had a couple of podcasts ago where we talked about those five yes. stages. Yes. 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 We're, so we're just now repeating ourselves here in our no. seventh, what? 75th. 75th episode. but that's because these verbs are in they they intertwine yes. with each other and they yes. and they pair so well yes. absolutely yes M my initial thoughts were uh, yes. of the form of the of this verb form mm -hmm. i initially thought hmm this could be a verb that i have could have fun with okay. and then all of a sudden i immediately thought of forming things and then i realized that i had mainly used the verb form for getting people together and to a lesser extent, gathering things. Okay. And I and I oh, thought forming huh. a collection, kind of. Yes. And I thought, okay. why? Why is that? And so I went to relationships first, whether personal or professional, to mm -hmm. me, and it was all about getting liked minds together. And, ah. Yeah. And I thought, wow, I I I tend to try to do that um, more than I try to form shapes or things. And mm -hmm. I thought, huh, interesting. It, it just something that caught me. That being said, I do love those cooking shows where they form amazing cakes. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, look, that look like real <laughs> objects. So I, I didn't yes. do any further research on that, but I am I marvel at people's skill and creativity. Absolutely. And Sheila, talking about skill and creativity, how can individuals reach out to you to offer <laughs> some skill and creativity? I would love any feedback. Thank you. My email address is Zeke and Sheila at yahoo.com. Zeke and Sheila at yahoo.com. And where can they find you on the webs? What? Zeke and Sheila.com. Oh, okay. Excellent. And to our listening audience, you can find me at my email address is wayne at mindsyncing.com. Again, that's spelled M-I-N-D-S-Y-N-C-I-N-G.com. My website is www.mindsyncing.com. Thank you. And Sheila, I think at the end of the show, you said you're going to have a, a question for our listeners. Yeah, the question is, uh, oh, no, no, you're talking about. No, no. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. To reach out to us. So we'll say that for the end of the show, right? Okay, very Where good. you want yes. them to reach out to us. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Great. All righty. Okay. Now, thinking about professional, personal, gathering people, forming groups. I know this one guy. I used to, I worked at a place and it had, it was a place of amazing people. Mm -hmm. um, smart, creative, funny, talented, beyond belief. Um, but there was this one guy there who formed a group out of all these collections of individuals who were doing the same thing, but using different tools, methods, or means. Um, and he, they had entrepreneur, he had entrepreneurial spirit and with attitude and everything that goes into that, he formed this group. Now it was a little dicey because mm -hmm. I just said they're smart individuals, creative individuals. <laughs> so egos sometimes got in the way. Uh, yes. <laughs> but he got this group together. And once they realized what the group could generate as far as bringing what ifs to reality, mm -hmm. it was amazing what they did accomplish that would have taken a lot longer had they not formed the group or had not gotten each other together. It was okay. just amazing what he did. So when okay. he formed this group, it was just it was it, it was exponential growth from there. It really Neat. was. Neat. It was. Yes. That is is uh, teamwork at its 
best. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. And going down my list, and, and, and I'll start if you don't mind. Please do. We form alliances to make us stronger, and I would argue it also makes us a little bit smarter. And we do this personally and professionally, don't we? I think. And, yes. And in fact, the U.S. Constitution preamble says uh, that it's the goal is to form a more perfect union. Ooh. So we definitely do better as a group. <laughs> yes. And so personal stuff. We form bonds with friends. Mm -hmm. Yay. I yep. like him because of this. I like her because of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I formed relationships with a significant other. Ooh, yes. I really yep. like to date that person. Mm, yes. <laughs> formed <laughs> an agreement between individuals with either a handshake or an actual contract. Mm -hmm. All personal. Another one, I formed a relationship with a mentor. Mm -hmm. and 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 i and i have to say this mentors to me are slightly different from what, what i'm hearing in the public view right now okay. because i hear a lot of places they assign mentors well how do you oh yeah you can't assign a mentor i mean you can and it sounds good looks good on paper but a mentor is it's a relationship that builds over time and trust and trust because there's a connection between the right. two individuals. Right. You just don't walk in and go, okay, you're new to this. All uh, right. Here's your mentor. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doesn't work. Cause you guys might not even like each other. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> anyway, I digress. How about you? What, what, what have you found in your research for today? Well, I, I going back to the Tuckman stages of group development, I have first learned of those um, in reference to group counseling, but it's very effective in um, team development and in recognizing uh, marital and family relationships, hmm. um, especially the one that most people don't want to do is the storming phase, but that's the one that really is kind of the most important in order to get <laughs> to be a well-performing team. Yes. Um, but I was looking at uh, the, first of all, the Tuckman stages of development as it approaches every aspect of life, including the next topic, which was forming a new habit. Mm. And then the next topic also, which is forming a star. And the next topic as well, which is forming an opinion. Oh, so, I know. <laughs> as we're approaching another political season, that's especially interesting to me. Absolutely. And, and, and I, ladies and gentlemen, again, Sheila and I are miles away. We, oh, we, no. Did we you? We're, we're not in the same building. We're not at the same nope. desk. We don't That's use right. the same computer. We or do the... not. Don't talk about the subject at all until we're here live. And well, she, recorded. And Sheila has peeked on my paper and saw that that's where the quote that I came from was about forming opinions. Ah, well played, Wayne. But I will save that for a little bit later. But okay. there you go. Okay. <laughs> it is so fun doing this with you. It really is. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, and and I love thinking about your website, Mind Sinking, because sometimes it seems like we do that. So. <laughs> yes. I'm. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, you were that's fine. You, you were on a roll, but I had to throw that in. That yes, there, there's my quote right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have, I, this would have been a good trivia question because um, if you were just to guess based on what you hear everywhere, how long does it take to start a new habit? What would your guess be? And as you were saying that, because I've, I've done, I've researched that. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yeah. And there are, because I used to teach leadership and, and right. whatnot for Boston University, but there was a, I think three sources and they changed the, right. the first time I read it and it came out of one of the books I, I was teaching organization behavior mm -hmm. and it said 21 days. That's the one that everybody has gravitated to. And then it changed to 17, 17, 17 days. Yes. Oh. And then there was a bounce between 21 days and 17. So I'm not sure which one it was, but I figure, you know what, somewhere between 17 and 21, I, 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 my, my muscle memory is probably going to be there by then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting you say that because the, the fellow who first came up with the 21 days um, actually had said a minimum of 21 days. But in truth, a 2021 study said it's more like 59 to 70 days. Or two to three months. 
to okay. really make it a, a habit. I would love it if it was just 17 days because I'm needing to break my um, love of highly processed food, <laughs> <laughs> particularly the high sugar variety. <laughs> I, I, are you talking about like cakes and things like that? Oh, I'm talking even mashed potatoes. <laughs> I, 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 ch- I, could, I, I can help you break that. I know oh, yeah? how you can do that. Yeah. How, okay. What's, what, what's the secret? When you make them, send them to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat you it for it. you. You don't have to worry you about it. Got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> There'll be no calories in, in that pan because this is all going to wane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like okay. it. That's the right. that's the two day because that's how long if I mail it to you, that's how long it'll take. As opposed to seventeen day method of forming a new habit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Well, it's funny because the steps they were saying start small, break into simple steps. Consider a uh, a habit buddy. You uh, in in your suggestion, all of those are accomplished. <laughs> Set aside a little bit of time every day. Set digital reminders, and then reward yourself. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Oh, great. Thank you, yeah. Wayne. Well, yeah, good thank advice. You. Yes. Good advice. Going back to my personal list yes, here. Please do. <laughs> we <laughs> we form all kinds of groups and teams. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking of a bowling league. I'm thinking oh. of a study group. I'm thinking of forming a book club. Yes. I'm thinking of forming a gaming group because I like oh, to play right. board games. Yes. Yeah, I was a uh, part of, uh, originally it was called a needlework club, but we changed it to textile engineering club. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and did that change the capacity of your group? Made me yeah, meaning because enlarging it? There were people who were doing needlework and quilting. And so, so yes, and using different textiles. So, yes, it absolutely opened it up for more members who were enjoying talking about the world's problems while they were working their fingers. Excellent. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to jump into my professional oh. list here, if you don't oh, mind. Good. Yes, please do. I keep interrupting you. No, no. No, this is not interruption. This is all forward. This We are forming a, a team. <laughs> yes. yes, forming a team here as we as we okay. venture forward. Okay. Forming forming a team. See, you looked on my paper again. Forming a team yep. to tackle a task at work. There we go. Formed, uh, forming a relationship with those around me, much like our personal one, my personal one, forming, you know, relationships with friends and significant others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Forming a relationship with my boss. Because that's a different relationship. Yes, it is. And and you have to walk different. Well, anyway, that perspective is different. Forming a relationship with those working for me, again, mm-hmm. which is a mm-hmm. different thing. Right. However, like you had interjected as I was talking about um, forming these relationships and these groups, trust yes. and respect has to be there. It does. So, so trust and respect has to be there with the boss and your the team that you're working with or the people that you're working with and the peers, but it's, and it's still different. It's still a different forming uh, a relationship that you're forming with them, but trust has to be there. Respect has right. to be there. Right. So all those kinds of things. One last one, forming a, forming a relationship with those individuals within the company that I worked for and outside of my daily contact group to the extent that they did not accomplish the same tasks my group was working on. So I formed a larger resource pool, mm-hmm. formed, a di- a formed a diverse pool of brain so power smart. and work ethic, mm-hmm. formed a different type of business culture within a culture. Mm-hmm. And let me explain that. People say, what's a culture within the culture? Well, think of the airlines industry. We think that there's a culture there. But the pilots have a different culture than the uh-huh. flight attendants, than the mechanics, than the baggage handlers. Mm-hmm. Although there's a culture there for, and, and I'll just pick one, United Airlines, but there are cultures within a culture. So as we're mm-hmm. forming those relationships from those within and those without, um, again, that that group broadens, much like your group. Um, mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. textile engineering, I like that. Very yeah, cool. we liked it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the clock. It says it's 1915. Whoa. So, so I'm going to to give it to you to to kind of get us there. But remember, okay. you've got a trivia question. I've yes. got a I've got a quote and you've got a question for our audience. So I'll I do. I do. Yes. So um quotes too. 
Uh, you said. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, but you know what? I think I've <laughs> said the best ones. Uh, but I, my last point was about um, training your mind to think critically and forming your own opinions. And I, and I just wanted to touch base on that one because um, – because that is the question I'm going to ask at the end here. So, so my, uh, if you and I were to give advice about how to use the word to form, to make the world a more positive place, my answer would be form your own opinions by asking the right questions, which we've talked about before on a podcast and yes. by reading and listening to many sources. And you've often talked about reading books every month, uh, different kinds of books. And yes. so... I want to thank you for that advice. And if you were to answer the question about using the word to form, um, to make the world a more positive place, what would your answer be? I, okay, I'm going to go to my quote then. Good, great. If you don't mind. And this quote is from um, Noel Tucci and Warren Bennis, and it's from their book, Judgment, How Winning Leaders Make Great Calls. Um and they talk about judgment. Now, let me let me tell you let me tell you the quote here. Okay. It says, "Judgment, which is the ability to combine personal qualities with relevant knowledge and experience to form opinions and make decisions." I think what we could do to positively make the world a better place place is to use better judgment, to use good judgment. Mm. Individuals are are doing things that are outside societal norms, if you will. We see them every day in the news, particularly here in the D.C. area. Um, if people would just use better judgment or teach what better judgment could be, how you could get there, we would be so much further advanced than what we are. But we are having to just police everyone. Mm. And, and, and here's point of contact, and then I'll defer to you. A point for consideration. Okay. Every day now, it used to be once in a while, but almost every day now, I am stopped at an intersection with my, in my car mm -hmm. because the light is red. Mm -hmm. And I will hear and see in my rear view mirrors a car or a truck mm -hmm. oh, step, yes. stepping on the gas, going around me. And hmm. running the red light. Really? As if there's no reason not to. Wow. And I'm thinking, wow, daily, because I walk the neighborhood, Ooh. those we have these we have four letter yield signs in our neighborhood. <laughs> and I say four letter yield because yield is spelled with five oh, letters. Oh, right. But S T O P. These, <laughs> exactly. There's these all these yield signs that that say stop. <laughs> but hardly anyone stops. They hmm. just drive right through it. And some of them don't even slow down. Wow. And I'm thinking, wow. And one last thing, blinkers on our cars. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. If you would just let me know that you were turning right, I could have turned right into the lane that I Didn't was wanting to Didn't have to be to. waiting here for five minutes. Exactly, yes. <laughs> Although I did hear someone say that they asked a younger person, and I don't want to be saying anything prejudicial here, um, why they didn't use the blinker. And that response was, it's nobody's business where I'm going. <laughs> I, I think I've mentioned that before. So anyway, that's my, that's my, that's, that's my answer. Judgment. Just use better judgment. Okay. Use good judgment and figure out what good judgment is. And uh, Warren, Okay, yes. And, and Benison and Tushi say it is the combination of personal qualities with relevant knowledge and experiences to form. And form the habit of stopping at stop signs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At least start there, right? <laughs> yeah, start. Start now. Start okay, Marvin, I will turn okay. it to you, please. It's, we uh, have 23, so 24 minutes, so we're good. Oh, we're good. Okay, so the trivia question was about how many stars are in the Milky Way. Did you want to hazard a guess? Okay, I'm going to say 6 billion. Well, I'll have to do the math here because it's at least 200,000 million. Wow. I can't even I can't even picture that that number. number. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I am looking at a picture right now on my computer screen from the James Webb telescope of of beautiful stars and galaxies. Okay. Wow. 
So we would love if someone, anyone, if uh, listeners would let us know how you think the world can be a more positive place by using the word to form. And we've given you different ways to contact us. But mostly we just appreciate your listening to this program and um, also would like feedback about other verbs you want us to talk about in research. Absolutely. And, and we still have some more minutes. So do you have anything else that you'd like to offer? Uh, just that when you form a star in space, it's an accumulation of gas and dust which collapses on itself due to gravity and it starts to form stars. It takes about a million years and that kind of touches back on the storming stage of Ooh. the Tuckman group development model. <laughs> so okay. how about yourself? Out of those, out of those five stages um, from forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning, which one do you like the best? Well, forming is always fun because everybody's really excited. But I do know that if you don't do the storming part, which I would rather avoid because there's conflict involved in that, uh -huh. it really, in any relationship or group, you have to go through that stage. So it's my reluctantly my favorite because of the productivity that develops because of it. How about yourself? Oh, storming is your favorite. Reluctantly. It, reluctantly, yeah. Wow, I like that. Nice. I, I like the performing stage. I, I want mm -hmm. that engine to hum. Yes. I love it when that's the stage. And, and, and as you said, we have to get there going through the forming, the polite stage, going through the storming. Everybody's, you know, putting themselves in the pecking yes. order or yes. I know this more than you. Yeah. Right. So as we get beyond all that, the performing stage, I like that because yeah. that's where we can also form opinions ah. and objectivity about what it is that we are absolutely attempting to do. And you, there it, you goes, go. it goes exponential from there. Oh, we could try this. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love anyway. it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Sheila, Wayne. I'm looking at the clock. It is that time. So if you Thanks would, for please. listening. Wayne, thanks for doing this with me. Always love talking with you. Sheila, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, to our 14 countries that have been listening to us. Yay. So thank you. Yay, keep it up. Let's see if we can get to 15, 16, 17. <laughs> All <say>? right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Sheila. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs>